specs than me. Nice. Yo, 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 yo. What up, tubers of you and fellow classes of the world? It's Adam right here, your favorite guy in the world, right? How's it going? Welcome back. We're going to be doing a very uh, different live stream. We ain't playing video games. We're going to be cooking. And we're going to be making uh, some uh, potato leek soup. It's going to be awesome. And, uh, yeah. So, this is something definitely very, very different from my channel. But, uh, I love cooking. Uh, I'm definitely uh, fairly skilled at it, I'd like to think. And uh, I wanted to share this uh, awesome, like, you know, fall time, winter time recipe with you guys. And I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, let me know if you guys can hear me all right. Um, I've never done this kind of setup before, so I got like a boom mic over here and everything. And uh, I got the, that web, my main webcam right here for, you know, so you can see this area. And then I'm used to using my laptop webcam, so obviously it's really shitty. But, uh, you know, uh, I wanted you guys to still be able to see me. I think I can still make this one just a tad bigger, like this. It's gonna cover up the donut goal thing, but you know, whatever. So yeah, what up, Caden? What up, Dynamic Martian? Zephyranthian? Uh, how's it going, guys? So welcome to the stream already. Uh, you like my videos? What am I cooking? So yeah, it's going to be potato leek soup. That's what we're making. You can hear me fine? Okay, good. Yeah, I know the light is just going to be kind of shitty because it's like right behind me. Even when I turn it off, it's still like really dark because I have no light in front of me here. And I am still going to do PUBG tonight. Probably not going to be starting at 6, like the usual time, probably like 7 or 8 or something just because I'm doing this live stream and I'm gonna have to break everything down and clean and everything afterwards so yeah 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 anyways we're gonna get started without further ado so um, I have all my vegetables here um, I like to make this with uh, pepper with habanero pepper just to give it a little bit of zing last time I made this I used one and it just wasn't quite enough zing so I'm gonna try two this time and see how it comes out um, but these were like really cheap at the supermarket they literally cost me four for a dollar like they weren't bad at all it was four for a dollar so um but here here's the habanero peppers they're much hotter than jalapenos um but uh you know yeah i like them i like them a lot let's get rid of this here hold on <laughs> Jared's also in here. He's making his like food for the week as well. All right. So the first thing is we got to um, we have to peel the potatoes. Put three if you are straight. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, last time I did this, it didn't feel like it. It didn't seem like thick enough. So. Um, this time I'm doing three potatoes. Last time I, I made this, I did two potatoes. Um, we'll share all the ingredients with you guys in case you want to cook this for yourself. Um, or for like your family or something, really impress your mom and your dad. Don't mind me, we're just trying to keep the mess uh, clean. So, okay. Uh, I decided to go with the, uh, I'll put it under here so you can see it better, the Simple Truth uh, Organic Chicken Stock. Um, you can use bone broth too, but chicken stock, uh, this is cheaper, that's why I didn't go with the bone broth. Um, you can make, make your own chicken stock with bones obviously, but um, just to make this easy for myself, I'm just going to go with the store bought organic chicken stock. It's going to be plenty good. So, what's up Gilded? How you doing? They'd be a lot of peppers. So, all right, last time I made this, I only used one habanero. Uh, this time, it was, it, they had no zing really from it. Like, it, it wasn't spicy at all. So, uh, this time I only used two uh, instead of the one. Uh, so, you, yeah, you need the chicken stock, habanero pepper. This is my own recipe, by the way. Uh, potatoes, I'm going to use three of them. Uh, large russet potatoes, by the way. These are really, really large. They're not, they, you know, they have all different sizes of russet potatoes when you go to the supermarket. I found literally the largest ones I could find. Um, and then I have green onions, no bulbs, just regular green onions here. Uh, I might as well just take it out of the bag now. It's fine. It tastes good. Oh, dude, you bet, Caden, you bet. By the way, just to let you guys know, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hear alerts or not. I, sh I think I should be able to. 
So yeah, uh, green onions, um, no balls. Not there. You can get. You can go to the store and you can get green onions with the balls. I like them without. Uh, and then of course it wouldn't be potato leek soup without your leeks. Um, now leeks are very uh, notoriously dirty. You have to make sure you clean them well, very very well. Oh shit. Okay, and also make sure that the bag wasn't didn't have water all underneath it. <laughs> I'll throw those in the sink for the sec for a second. I don't know. Wipe up this mess that that just made. So that about covers it. We're gonna grab out of the pantry here some spices that we're gonna use. Um, and all I'm gonna use, pretty freaking simple. We're gonna use garlic pepper. Uh, only thing you can get here is California style, unfortunately. Um, I decided not to go, I could have, it is better to go with like live, like uh, raw, fresh, um, garlic cloves and otherwise I wouldn't have used this still gonna use some ground pepper fresh ground pepper but not a lot because this already has pepper in it uh, and then we use some Old Bay seasoning it's a really good seasoning mix um, and Himalayan uh, let's see if we can get the there you go Himalayan you know uh, pink Himalayan uh, sea salt one of my favorites who is that? that was Jared dynamic Martian No balls. Heaven knows aren't too bad. They're not that bad. I mean, they're definitely hot, but... Hey, Deadpool, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. How you doing, bro? By the way, guys, don't forget to smash that like button. Would be greatly appreciated. All right. First things first, we're going to um, gonna shave down the peppers. So you guys can... Or not the peppers. The freaking uh, the potatoes here. I'm just going to do it down here because it's easier. Eh, it's a little high up. Whatever. That, that's too low. Whatever. I'm trying to do it so you guys can see you're not like missing out on all the action of me peeling peeling potatoes. Whatever, do it up here. If I wasn't so short, this would be like perfect height. And this meal should take about an hour to an hour and a half to make. Um, about an hour and a half with prep time, so it's about how long the stream's gonna be. There's like an eye here that it's not peeling off, it's fine. nastiness in this potato right here. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but oh my god, there's like so much nastiness right here on this potato. There we go. That's better.
we're gonna get we're gonna peel off this bruise here too on the potato. That's pretty good. All right, we're gonna throw this in the uh, colander in the sink here, and then we'll wash it once the other one's done. Hey, Rocky, what's up? It's up to Eugene's Gaming. Welcome to the stream, guys. Are you good at cooking? It looks like it. Yeah, pretty decent, you know? Gonna make some baked beans and smoked sausage. Forgot to thaw anything out earlier. Oh, rip. Homemade baked beans. Ooh. This sounds so good, Gilda. Definitely going to smash that leg button. Hell yeah, dude. Don't forget to smash that leg button, guys. What's up, Mr. Five? <laughs> How many wins do we have? <laughs> How many wins do we have in a cooking stream? <laughs> Who would want balls in their food? Wow. No thanks. No thanks in the balls. I'll pass. pain in the ass holding him up here like this. I'm just literally doing this just so you can see and you can get in and all the action. There's a bruise right here I gotta get rid of. There we go. There's another bruise right here. Welcome to the stream. My phone won't let me do it. Wait, what are you trying to do, Gil? It won't let you do what? Potatoes aren't being the most cooperative for peeling. You usually run it under hot water. <laughs> no, it's it's just the there's a lot of eyes in these ones. That's what I mean by that. There's a little bruise in the bottom of this one we're gonna get rid of. There we go. compost here in California, so it's going to be like our composting uh, bag, so I'm going to hold on to that for the rest of the veggie stuff. So we're going to go ahead and rinse the potatoes. Actually, what we're going to do is 
I'm going to store these, put these off to the side. I'm not going to cut them yet. Because really the first step is you want to start sauteing the leeks um, with the green onion and the peppers and your spices and some butter, uh, which is going to form your base for this. Edit the winds command. Oh, hey, Sean, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. How are you? Looking good? I'm uh, doing good, man. I'm doing good. Yeah, I'm just cooking. You're doing great? That's good to hear, Sean. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good, guys. Nice compost. Compost. Oh, my God. All right. Uh, so let's get the leeks. Now, remember what I said about the leeks. The leeks are notoriously very dirty. So I'm going to rinse them. Chop them up, then we're going to rinse again, and then I'm going to rinse this before I use it again as well. We did an initial rinsing of the leeks. Uh, now for the leeks, I like to use the chef knife because they're a little bit tougher. You want to cut off the end like so. And you want to cut it about right here. You're going to cut off all the leaves. And then the rest of this is pretty much useless. Yeah, there's nothing good left in there. Okay, now what you want to do with the leaves, you want to cut them in half first. Like so. And then you're just going to chop them up like this. Ready for being washed. And then we're going to grab our next leak. Okay, so same thing. Just cut off the tip right here. Just the tip. Just a tip, just to see how it feels, you know? <laughs> and uh, up to the leaves right here. Then you cut in half. Just chop it. Should be good enough. All right, one more leak to do. So same thing, just repeat, chop off the tip, just to see how it feels. <laughs> Cut off the leaves. Toss them in your compost. Cut in half. And then chop. Knife needs to be sharpened. Okay. 
Okay. Put that in our colander to be rinsed. We'll end up rinsing this here in just a minute. All right, so like I said, you saw how long I rinsed those for. You really want to make sure that the leeks are well rinsed, well rinsed. They're very, very dirty. There's always sand in them, and yeah, so. What was that, Adam? What did you just say? Oh, I spelled leeks wrong, didn't I? Did I did? I knew it. It's L-E-E-K. Let me change it. Rip. I'll change the title. Sorry. And I'm usually the one that's the freaking spelling Nazi. Hey, Zero. It is actually happening. Let me just spell leak correctly here. There we go. All right. We'll be right back, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go run my water bottle out of my room because I'm thirsty. catch up on the chat. Oh my god, such good water. Man, I missed so much in the chat. Holy crap. Whipping up that fire. Yeah, Kayla, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Allison Clasher, welcome to the stream. I'm doing good, David. Thank you for asking. What's a leak? Yeah, I just Google it. It's basically what I just cut up, Caleb. <laughs> Tato, hey, Kill Tech. Yeah, dude. This is like one of my favorites. Yeah, leak is uh, much like a, uh, it's a lot like an onion. Hey, hi, Mike. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Charlton. Welcome to the stream. You're oddly interested. <laughs> Adam liked the tip. My family dulled the fuck out of my knives. I had to go through and sharpen all of them. Well, so many people use these knives, like I'm sharpening them like once every couple of weeks. Take up the coffee me, then some work, I guess. Not a bad following either, 20 ish people, I know, dude. It's a wild Jared, yeah. There is a wild Jared in the background. <laughs> Straight from the LA River. <laughs> what, the leaks? Nah. Alright, uh, I think I just I put the butter and stuff in the mini fridge here, so. It's easy access. All right, so we're making a lot of this. While I'm chopping up the green onions, we're gonna use two sticks of butter here. 
Uh, but these sticks are only eight. They're half a cup. So we're going to use one cup of, uh, of butter. Real butter, salted butter. Okay, don't use fucking margarine. Don't use unsalted. Use real salted fucking double A grade butter. Right there. Hold on. Great double A butter. Uh, the Stacy MCC21, thank you so much for subscribing and becoming a YouTuber review. I appreciate you. Brah! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're gonna... We're gonna start melting down the butter. Ah, don't forget, I've been washing my hands throughout, as you guys have seen, so... I can just grab this with my hands. Obviously, if you're cooking for other people, you want to make sure your hands are extremely clean throughout while you're cooking. Let me rest my hands open. Oh my god, it's fucking hot, dude. Jesus. The boing. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm just going to put this on low heat. Obviously, we're cooking with gas, natural gas. That's the only way to cook. No, thanks. Oh, the water. That's why I use this right here. As you guys have noticed, it's, a, it's got a Brita filter in there. So it's always filtered water. You can actually see how short Adam is. Wow. Oh, when I stand next to freaking Jared. What's up, Cruncho? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Look how short he is. Oh my god, Cat. Fuck you. Adam failed no net November. How do you say that? Hey Soul Tree, what's up, man? Why are you wearing clothes and not in, in a, only an apron? I actually do have an apron that uh, the landlord got me for Christmas. So what's up, the uh, WWE fan? Welcome to the stream. Doesn't matter if you're cooking for yourself if you wash your goddamn hands. Yeah, exactly. Yo, bears in. I will feed you. So if you follow my recipe, you're gonna be able to feed your slut, man, with my recipe. You can have Adam's home cooking. That's all there is to it. Why don't you don't burn your eyebrows? Yeah, I'm not going to. Pancakes for dessert. Mmm. It's all if your sweet ass making pancakes for dessert. Yeah, okay. Anyways, this is melting. We got to get going here on the green onions. So let's get that going here. Um, gonna use like three of them, I think. You know, I could I could just use all of them. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna rinse them real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these very similarly to the leeks. Um, these are pretty simple, so you can just cut them all together. So cut off the tips. And then the thing with green onions is you actually use the leaves. So we're just going to cut off like just down at the ends. Hold on, let me, uh... Ah! Burn myself. Don't burn your slap. I know, I'll burn my slap. <laughs> Got butter on my nose. Um, and then you, uh, the green onions just chop. So that's what we're gonna do.
Okay. Now that's done. I'm gonna watch these two with the leaks. Just because I didn't watch the, uh... Try not to let it get brown. All right. You failed no not November. in my bathroom. Could be a jockey, who knew? I could be if I knew how to ride horses. Spit coffee all over my shit when I saw the thumbnail. Yeah, I decided just to reuse like a really old thumbnail. <laughs> all the HDLs straight to the gut. Dude, this is going to be a lot of this, Rogue. Trust me, this is literally going to last me for like the next four or five days. Adam cooking gone wrong. Need a set stool to reach the stove. Wow, dude. I remind you of Fro Froggy Fresh? Who's that? What's wrong with the little brown man? I mean, I don't know. All right, uh... So we're gonna use two habaneros. I'm gonna just rinse these real quick. These are really simple. Actually, I'm gonna pull out the, uh, we'll pull the stems out first. They're usually pretty simple to, to pull out. If you're wondering what that noise is, this is just the pan getting hot. So we're gonna pull the stems out. Just gonna rinse them down real quick. Peppers are like really easy. For this one, we're gonna use the Asian knife. Uh, I forgot exactly what you call it, but it's an Asian knife. Uh, anyways, this is uh, pretty simple. Just I, I cut off the tips. Some people don't. So be like, you're gonna get the tips. It's fine. This is this is how I am. Cut in half. We're gonna pull out the innards here. Now when you're handling these with your hands, make sure you wash your hands before you touch your face. Okay? Unless you wanna know what it's like to get pepper sprayed. Habaneros are extremely hot when they're raw like this. They're extremely hot. These are not some damn jalapenos. So wash your fucking hands before you touch your face. Here y'all go, Adam. For when you get sick of soup. It's just like the rule we used to have when we went to the gun range and you're handling ammo. Whenever you're handling ammo, do not fornicate, masturbate. Wait, no, you don't fornicate, defecate, or masturbate until you thoroughly wash your hands. Alright? Alright, the butter is almost done. And luckily we didn't burn it this time. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Anyways, I'm just gonna... Yeah, we'll just do one at a time. It's fine. Alright, so I'm just gonna cut it in half. Like so. And then just chop it. This is all gonna be immersion blended anyways, so...
gonna turn that down just a little bit. The butter's pretty much done, so it's ready for the leeks and the onions and the uh, peppers. So one of the reasons why I like the peppers is A, it gives it a nice zing to the soup, and B, uh, peppers are extremely high in vitamin C. So if you're looking to kind of add a little bit more healthiness to the soup, this is the way to go, especially if you're sick. I just think, especially if it's a wintertime thing, happy. you're trying to avert the flu. Like, this is what I made for myself when I had the flu a couple weeks ago. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, it clears you right up. But this isn't going to really, it's not going to be spicy or anything because of the, the amount of soup we're making with just two habanero peppers. It's literally just going to have like a little bit of a, it's just going to have a kick in flavor. It's really not going to be spicy at all. Alright, so let's just throw the peppers in. Let's get our leeks and green onions in here. Okay. Washing that pepper off, man, I can, it's like hitting my fucking back of my throat and my nose. Shit's strong, yo. Alright, so now we're gonna just saute this in here. This is not the spoon that I wanted. Let me just mix the peppers in here a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna turn this back up a little. We get a nice saute going here. Oh, you were back there. Shit, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Back there for a second. All right. So that's starting the saute. Uh, now we're going to add all the seasoning. So some garlic pepper. We'll add more later to taste. Vibs in, coming with a five dollar donation. Thank you, dude. Much appreciated, guys. Hashtag Vibs in in the chat for the five dollar dono. So the, basically, what we're doing right now is we're laying the foundation for our soup. That's why I'm putting in the spices now to start cooking the spices. All right, that's adding the pepper. Like I said, I don't want to overdo it because I'm using a garlic pepper blend there, so it already has pepper in it. Even though we did use salted butter, we're still gonna add some Himalayan pink salt to this. You can feel free to go a little overboard with it like I was because don't forget, I've got four of these. Here we go. Got four of these things we're putting in here and we're still gonna be using, we're also gonna use cream in this as well. So this thing's literally, the pot's gonna be like, like up to here, it's maybe it's hard for you guys to tell, but if you add a little oil to the butter, it won't burn. I'm not going to be adding uh, oil, it's going to give it a weird taste. He's mastered in the arts of the chop shop. Hashtag it up, balls. <laughs> Disrespect. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, Gil is cooking too. But, guys, like, seriously, pay attention to like what I'm doing here. Feel free to use my recipe, let me know what you think. I, I love this. I, I think it's just so good. Oh man, it already smells fucking amazing. Alright, so I just want to make get all the spices mixed into this. And then we're gonna just let this sit and saute for a bit until uh, basically until the um, until the veg vegetables are wilted. All right. Uh, now we're gonna start doing a little chop chop on the potatoes. There's oil in the chicken stock, I bet. Uh, this is organic, so probably not. But let me see. 
A lot of stuff in this, though. Holy crap. Organic chicken stock, filled with water, organic chicken broth. Uh, organic chicken flavor, organic chicken flavor, sea salt, organic chicken stock. Why do they keep saying the same thing over and over again? Organic chicken fat. Organic onion juice concentrate. Organic carrot juice concentrate. Organic cornstarch. Organic tomato paste. Organic turmeric. Uh, organic flavor. Organic spice. What the hell is organic flavor? Uh, okay, yeah, there is some oil. Organic canola oil. Organic chicken flavor. Organic uh, chicken flavor again. Sea salt. Sea salt. Sh organic cane sugar. Organic chicken fat. Oh, they list a lot of stuff twice. It's fucking weird. All right, anyways. Uh, put the butter back away, too. I don't want that shit melting. Sit that back in there. Hey, Army Horror, what's up? Yeah, but the, I don't want... So the only oil I have is is uh, extra virgin olive oil, so I don't want to like, I I don't know, I don't want to add that flavor to this. This does not look like soup. It will be soup, Invader. Trust me. This is how you. S I told you, man. We're making the base for the soup right now. This is the start of it, man. And I'm taking my phone out of my pocket. It's kind of. <clears throat> You can't eat things like this anymore? Rip. Wait, did I miss something, Angry? Did something flash, your mind flash on the screen real fast? Oh shit, here you go, Adam, for when you get sick of soup. Oh man, Angry Filipino, thank you for the $5 too. Guys, hashtag Angry as well. I'm sorry that I missed it. I don't have sound on. Um, I don't have, because uh, I'm using my interface, so I'm not getting sound out of my laptop right now. So, I'm sorry, I can't hear the, the, the notifications and I'm not always looking at the screen, so. All right, let's get the potatoes going here. That's gonna be coming up, having to put those in before you know it. Um, you don't have to chop these like crazy, like particularly or anything. <clears throat> Should use the fucking meat cleaver for this, Jesus. Come on. <clears throat> There we go. All right. So we're just gonna do a basic, uh, uh, just a very easy, simple dicing of these. Alright, same thing, we're just gonna stick these in our colander in the sink for right now, just to store them. Can't eat things like this anymore. You know where he's bro. <laughs> Not chopping. You gotta slam that bitch. I know, that is another way to do it. I'm just trying not to wreck the knife. I mean, I could do it like this, you know, to cut it down the middle. Well, the thing is, then it comes out uneven. So I don't really like doing that. So now I'm gonna have like this huge fucking thick slice of it right here. But it's fine, because we're gonna immersion blend this later. The point is we just need to get the potatoes cooked.
Same thing. Uh, I'm gonna stick this in the colander. I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. Turn it down just a tad too. Oh my god, this smells so good already. Wait till we get the whole kit and caboodle in here, man, and it's just like, it's going at it. It's gonna be delicious. It's looking delicious right now. Wish I could smell it. I know, man. Wouldn't that be amazing if they had a device that was so interactive that you could smell? Like, it could, re it could like, record the smells and give it off. Like, that would just be awesome. Like, you could, like, watch cooking shows like this and you can actually smell it. That would be amazing. He's rubbing it in your face, Avery. smell o vision Yeah, dude. Dude, someday, man, they're going to invent something like that. Someday. Alright, anyways, I'm not doing it like that again because that was kind of pain. I'd rather put a little bit more work in to cut in the potato and make sure I get an even cut. Well, I guess now that I have the even cut. There we go. Okay, stick these in the colander. How are we looking here in the, looks like wilted yet. Almost there. All right, it's coming along. Uh, a couple more minutes. That should be good. He's giving Adam ideas. New camera idea? There you go. Rip the gassy streamer. Could, yeah, there you go. You can just follow along with your own. Make it yourselves. Too lazy to follow along. <laughs> well, not everyone has leaks in their house either, so. All right, I'm going to check and make sure my... I had fresh bay leaves, uh, but they're a couple weeks old. I'm going to check them. They were in the fridge. So I'm gonna probably use those. You know, a veggie I forgot to use was celery, but I don't know if it's still good. I'm gonna check my bay leaves here in uh, my oregano. 
see how it is. Now the say the bay leaf is still good. Let's check the oregano. Oregano still looks good. Some of it's a little wilted. I'm just gonna use that. Uh, let me see how this. I don't know if the celery is still good. I forgot. Celery. It's also important. Gotta have that. Ah, uh, it's barely good, but it's still good. We're gonna use it. All right, uh, let's do the stock separate here. I should have been sauteing this already, but it's okay. Cut the leaves off. Completely freaking forgot. Oh my God. Dump that out. I'm just gonna cut the leaves off here. Cut the end off. And we're gonna just chop it. Okay. Should be fine. It'll it'll cook down in the soup. So. All right. Let's cut the leaves off here. The end. Good. And then get the chop in here. All right. Stove is very clean, so I'm okay with just, you know, having it drop down there and just rinsing it. It'll be fine. Okay, this is pretty much ready. Obviously, we didn't really wilt the uh, celery because I freaking forgot, but it's okay. Should be fine. All right, so this is basically our soup base right here. <clears throat> You're getting into game developing? Sweet. Everyone has leaks. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Dakota Gaming, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Dominique. 28th like? Holy shit, we already have 28 likes on this? Hell yeah, guys. See, gaming has gotten the best of you, and now you pursue other passions. It's always been a passion of mine. I've been cooking, well, just as long as I've been... For just as long as I've been, uh... Gaming, since I was a kid. The only reason I actually even know of this is because my mom used to make it for me when I was a kid in the wintertime. Loved it. Loved it. All right. Uh, that's pretty much ready. We're going to turn this up to medium. Time to throw in our chicken stock. Now, like I said, yeah, I could have, like, spent all day, you know, cooking, you know, making bone broth, but... Making my own stock, but it's just as easy just to, and it tastes just the same. It doesn't taste really that much different if you just use store-bought chicken stock. All right, I'm turning this up to high now. I like to use every little last drop. In the recycling. No, I'll just put it on the side for right now. BRB, gonna get food to the kids? Alright, 
Are you babysitting? Will my mom make hot soup in the winter? Dude, that's like the best, dude. And it's like the fucking dead of winter if you live in the north and some amazing just homemade hot soup, dude. Just nothing like it, bro. Nothing like it. See, the thing with chicken stock is, especially store-bought, it's very, very bland. That's why I put a lot of spices in, and we're still going to add more spices. I'm going to see how this tastes here. All right, I'm going to start throwing in the potatoes, and then we'll put in the other two. I just do that because I want to avoid too much of a splash from the potatoes. We're going to rinse them one more time, though, just in case. just want to make sure our food is very clean, you know? Hands again. Okay, so we got our potatoes. I'm gonna start just dishing them in here. Whenever I have a ton of soup during the week, I always drop weight. Dude, soup, this kind of soup, like what I'm making right here is actually really good for you. Um, I know I put a lot of butter in there, like it seems like it's a lot, but this is literally going to last for the whole week. But the leeks, the peppers, the green onions, the celery, the potatoes, like this is all just like, uh, we're also going to, uh, I do put egg in this. I'm going to check and see if my eggs whites are still good. Hopefully they are, so I can add it in. Um, cause that's another thing I like to add, but this is just going to have, it's going to have like everything from the food group in it. It's going to have dairy, starch, protein. Fat. You need fat. Fat is good for you. Certain types of fats. Trans fats are not good. You do need to have a certain amount of saturated fat, and you definitely need unsaturated fat in your diet. How do you think I'm just a freaking gaming nerd and I'm still this thin? And I eat all the freaking McDonald's that I eat all the time that you guys see me eating. Because I also do eat healthy as well, like this. All right, the rest of it I think I can drop in here without splashing my face. Alright. <clears throat> Two more of these. This one's gonna open, Jesus. This one didn't open up so well. Oh, they put the cap on all fucked up. Really? this up a little bit more. This is a lot that needs to get boiling here. Dude, the fucking cap on this is all fucked up. There we go.
in the recycling. Grab our fresh oregano and bay leaves. And I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put like one or two in. I'll put like three. Eh. Put like three bay leaves in. So I'm just gonna rinse these real quick. So let's put in our bay leaves. Roop. Put this back. Oh, put this right there for right now. And then, ah, let's see if I can find a decent strand of oregano out here. We're gonna rinse it real quick. Fresh strand of uh, oregano. All right, let's uh, mix it up a little bit. So we can get all the flavors together. And we'll bring this to a boil. And I'm gonna give it a little chef's taste. So we're gonna grab our tasting spoon. Just gonna see what it needs on those spices. Hmm, something's missing. Typically a meat seasoning, but oh, I really like it in the soup. A little more of that. It does need some more pepper. It tasted plenty salty enough. because it did taste like it needed a little bit more garlic in it, but I don't think it needs any more salt. Well, let's see after I mix this in and see how it is. there. Let's have a taste. So I'm not going to use that. Let's use our tasting spoon. Perfect. That's perfect. Let's 
So whenever you're cooking, you always spice the taste. Hey, who are the uh, BBC gang. <laughs> Adam Salty. I know, right? You're hungry now? Hey, British girl, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Make sure to have some bread with jelly along with it. Hell no, dude. That does not mix. Adam Cooking Channel. Hell yeah, here we This is the Adam Cooking Channel. Welcome to the Adam Cooking Channel. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me put this back in the fridge here. Surprised that the bay leaves and the oregano lasted this long. We're gonna start washing some of the dishes here so we don't lessen our workload on us. Okay. Don't believe we're gonna be using the knives anymore. Or the cutting cutting board. Habaneros in the fridge as well. Dry these up, put them away. Makes less work later for the cleanup.
Not boiling yet. Turn it up a little bit more. I'm gonna taste it one more time. starting to come out in it. Need a habanero and all done. We already did. It's two habaneros in this. Uh, I'm going to cover it to see if we can get it to boil a little bit faster here. Uh, it looks so good. Dude, this is going to be amazing. We're not even close to me. This is literally only half of it so far. You can come back in. Alright, Carmen. Fire? Fire what? Fire, fire. All right, I'm gonna get some other stuff for the next few steps. If I can find it. There it is. This thing right here is probably the most important part of making this. I uh, highly recommend you get one if you don't have one. This is called an immersion blender, uh, and you'll see us using it in a bit. Uh, yeah. Hey, Chrissy, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Uh, you can also blend the soup, but it's just so much easier with an immersion blender. Just go get one. You could, you could probably find it on eBay for like five bucks or something, you know? I highly recommend having one in your household if you don't, because you don't use them often, but sometimes you need them and they come in handy. And they're great in soups for soups like this. All right, uh, we're gonna keep our spices out. It's gonna take a bit for this to boil, so we're just waiting for that. There no fire? No, there's no fire. No fire, man. Why ain't no fire? There's some mosquito in here. Fuck, get away. Alright. Alright, cool. Uh so while we're letting this boil, I'll be back. I'm going to go take this out into the compost and go get a quick bait and we'll be back. So don't go don't too, far, too far. So, mukbang sisters, uh, welcome to the stream, how you doing? Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. So yeah, I'm going to go take out our compost here and uh, go have a quick bait and we'll be back guys. We'll be back. So don't go too far.
Are you making coke? <laughs> tactical vape suck. It's like, yeah, guys. We are back. We have to, we have to go do a tactical vape. Vape. Suck. I can't even say it. <laughs> we'll be back, guys. We're gonna do a tactical vape suck. Oh my! Why is this so hard for me to say suck? Hot plates look like spiders. Do they? I guess they kind of do. Yeah. I mean, it's not a hot plate. This is a stove, but yeah. All right, let's see if this is boiling. Oh, yeah! We got it boiling. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's get this off the side. It's going to stir it a little bit. Oh, my God. This smells so good, guys. So good. I literally wish that I could, like, transfer the smell of this through the camera to you guys. It'd be the most amazing thing ever. Okay, we're gonna lower this down to a simmer now. Not a simmer, we still want it to boil, but I'm gonna lower, put it on medium. I'm gonna have a little quick taste again. Oh my God, as it cooks, it just, mm, just tastes better and better. Would it be better with actual chicken? Um, in this soup, it doesn't work, and you'll find out when I do the immersion blend why. Why it doesn't work. Uh, so basically right now, we just need to cook it long enough for the potatoes to get soft. Uh, it generally takes about, I don't know, maybe five, 10 minutes, five, 10 more minutes. So we're just gonna let it uh, sit here on medium heat and boil. By the way, guys, what do you guys think of this um, this kind of platform? I can do it more often, maybe like once a week, once every two weeks or something, of doing like a, a kind of a cooking show and I make my like, we're gonna make big meals like this that are gonna last me for the week. Um, and I can do different recipes and stuff. I have a lot of different recipes that I do. That's bowl. I mean, I would have to add the chicken in later. Um, totally could. Um, but I use egg for my protein in this. Um, most recipes don't call for egg, uh, but that's how my mom always made it. Uh, when I was younger, she liked to add egg, so I'm gonna do that. This is kind of a mix of like a lot of, this is like my own recipe, but it's a, it's a mix between like things I looked up online, uh, the recipe my mom used when I was a kid. So make a dessert. I can totally make a dessert. And what's up from high? Well, I haven't seen you in a bit. How you been, dude? There's something that the mic is really picking up, but it seems like it's, is it the boiling? Maybe I should uh, do this, like change the mic a little bit more. See if that's better. Do you guys hear like a lot of background noise? What does it sound like? Cause I'm, I'm seeing something is getting picked up by the mic, but that's like loud, but it, I don't know what it is. Put bacon in it. Oh, you can totally put bacon in this. I mean, you can do whatever kind of protein you want. Uh, bacon definitely goes very well in this, for sure. Chicken would work, uh, but that would have to be like one of the last things that you add. But um, but especially with leek soup like this, uh, it is pretty common for someone to garnish with bacon, and then you would just stir it in. I like to garnish with just some a uh, little bit of Parmesan. Airplanes? Maybe. I don't know. There are cars driving by. Maybe the mic is just picking up. I have it turned up quite a bit because it's a little bit higher up. Um, maybe, I don't know. I mean, does it sound alright? Can you guys hear me okay? Does it sound alright to you guys?
I'm just gonna check the potatoes. Uh, they're pretty soft. A couple more minutes. I was able to slice through it with the spoon pretty easily. Just give it a few more minutes. So we're an hour and 20 minutes into this. Yeah, about an hour and a half, maybe a little bit more. I mean, I had to, I did take quite a bit of time on the prep, so. Unfortunately, we can hear you loud and clear. Wow, dude. Wow. I wish I like put more work into it and I put like my spotlight up here or something. It's still in my room. Oh, here's you. Okay. Cause I just see, I just see the mic, like the levels is going like way up into the yellow. So I'm like, when I'm not talking, I think it's the vehicles going by that it's picking up. Post apocalyptic. What's up, dude? How you doing? All right, let's uh, let's get the stuff ready for the next steps. So heavy cream, uh, it doesn't matter if it says heavy whipping cream or heavy cream, it's the same stuff, but you want heavy, 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 because you want it to be nice and silky and creamy. And then uh, some organic uh, egg whites, I'm gonna throw that in too. Organic free range. Fat free. <laughs> Sick again and tired of this fucking weather. Dude, post, you gotta make this recipe, bro. It's perfect. It's perfect. You're still a pretty girl. Not like Eve. Pretty, but close. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Wow. Wow. All right. Where's the Parmesan cheese at? Am I out? Am I out of Parmesan cheese? Okay, apparently a lot of Parmesan cheese. Um, it's not like, uh, like, I don't do, I'm not like one of those fucking like, uh, super crazy fucking Californians that's like, everything's organic. Uh, the celery is not organic. Uh, the bay leaves and the oregano is not organic. Uh, the green onions are not organic. Uh, the only thing that was really organic in this is the leeks, the stock, the egg whites is going to be organic. Yeah, it's just because here in California, sometimes you can't find something that's not organic. Like it's, you can only find it and it's when it's organic. I don't know who pulls cross-dressing off better, you or Lumi. Oh my fuck. Dude! She's not a man. You guys are so mean. You're so fucking mean. Alright, let's check the potatoes again. See if we can nab one here and then just see if it'll cut with the spoon. Eh. It needs to be a little softer, I think. But it's almost there. I'm gonna taste this though. See how this taste is coming along. As everything cooks into the broth. It's pretty good. It has that perfect amount of zing that I was looking for. Because last time I made this, I only used one habanero. And um, so this time I wanted to try two habaneros and see how it would come out. And it's uh, it's got the perfect amount of zing to it. 
It's not spicy. It's not hot. Um, it's just like it just it just gave it just a little bit of a zing that just oh, it just makes it so much more full of flavor, you know. I'm gonna send Adam a life size doll of Lumi with a 10 inch strap on. Oh my god, dude! Wow. I'm ready. Cherry limeade, limeade margarita slush to go with my baked beans. <laughs> nice, dude. Come on. I'm getting kind of bored. I'm ready for the potatoes to be done already. I might turn it up just a little bit. I mean, it is boiling, but I'll turn it up just a little bit more. I am Invader Zen. I'm not going to be starting at 6, obviously, because it's already almost 5 for me. Uh, I'm going to eat, and i got to tear all this down and put it all back together. Um, you know, get set up. So it'll probably be more like 7 to 8 o'clock, somewhere around there. I'll just, I'm not going to give you guys a time. I'm just going to tell you, like, in the Discord when I'm going live. Like, right about when I'm ready. And I'm probably going to watch an episode of uh, Making a Murderer. Season 2 just came out. Fucking, there's a mosquito in here, man. It's fucking pissing me off. And some jalapeno peppers we had left over. My fucking mouth and throat are on fire. <laughs> Dude, this fucking mosquito, man. Your favorite food is chicken and dumplings? Oh! That's one I'm going to have to make. I've actually never made chicken and dumplings myself. Um, but my grandmother used to make it a bunch when I was a kid. She was like the fucking grandmaster at making chicken and dumplings. Put the mosquito in the soup. With all the fucking diseases they carry. Alright, let's check the potatoes again. Give it another minute there, so they better be done. Yeah, that's pretty soft. All right, so now what we got to do is we got to fish out the um, the oregano and the bay leaves. Put those off to the side. So there's one right here. If I can get at it. Come on. All right, there's one. Put three in here. So uh, here's the uh, oregano. that off to the side here we go here's another bay leaf okay one more to find thought I just saw it so last one's gonna be a bitch it's like I'm hiding in the shoop I'm a bay leaf and I'm hiding in the shoop there it is. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to just throw these in the uh, quick access compost here that we got in the kitchen. Okay, uh, for right now we're gonna turn this off. I'm gonna mix it again. This should be ready to be immersion blended. Okay. So we just give it a second to cool off there while we get everything else just kind of ready here. So we we'll pull the top off this. Recycling. Get the immersion blender ready. 
Merge the button, he's nuts. What up, Mushu? I don't know why I'm watching, but I am, Rip. Because, Mushu, you want to see the fucking Chef Adam at work here, bro. Probably sucking Jared in the back. See, Mushu. Wow, dude. Hey, what, uh... It'll help build your immune system. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but where's Eve? The leaf is camping. <laughs> Fucking campus. Fucking campus. <laughs> Tomorrow, Brad the Great, taking a dump with Adam. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so now we're going to immerse and blend this. Start on low. Let me get a... Let's do it on high. So you really don't want chunks in this. So you, you immersion blend it for a while. Ugh. Should be good. I can roast it because I've done in real life shit too. It's a fair game. <laughs> Maybe he baits when he shits. Maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> no, I shit and then I bait. I, that, yeah, that, that's the order, man. Rip my ears harder, Dad. <laughs> yeah, you rip. Sorry. What the fuck did you become Susie Homemaker? <laughs> You're more like what is that? Guadalupe Wrecker. <laughs> when you got Eve pregnant? Oh my god, that's gross. <laughs> Alright. Let's rinse this out quickly before it ain't guys on it. Now, I'm gonna start it back up again. Put it on uh, medium. Let me just see how the consistency came out on this. Make sure there's no chunks in it. It's looking good. Um, let me just have a little taste the way it is right now. Doing pretty good. But 
the fuck? Pan making fun, some fucking weird ass noises. All right. Uh, so we're using a whole pint of cream. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I shake it. It's because this shit is so thick. Where's my dragon bait? <laughs> uh, there's a rule in the house. I'll, I'll do it. Uh, I'll, it's gonna be an IOU for tonight's stream when we uh, get on PUBG. But that's the sound he makes when he baits. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna mix our cream in here. You know, it would be awesome. You could probably mix clams in this even. For like kind of like a clam chowder almost. Cause it is kinda of, this is basically like a chowder, you know? So let's do recycling. All right. Jizzing in the soup again? <laughs> the whole time you were looking for the last leaf, I saw it floating on the top. Really? Pour it in slow, daddy. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chris Rock, what's up, man? Here I thought you were just a gamer that made toasted ham and cheese sandwiches. That would be pretty good. Or even some chicken and corn. All right, I'm trying to just get this kind of boiling, boiling again. Yeah, it looks like it's about to. Now we're gonna start adding in uh, the egg. Turn it up just a little bit more, make sure the egg's gonna cook good. All right, start adding the egg in. This is our protein. a third of the thing. You don't want to like overdo it. I'm just gonna keep stirring it.
I don't want the egg to clump up too much, so I'm just going to keep stirring it while that cooks. This is starting to get really hearty. It's like getting creamy. I'm going to stir it here with the egg in there, the cream. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'm going to rinse this just because I don't want raw egg on it, just in case it hasn't cooked all the way in yet. Probably has, but... Alright. So while we let that cook just a little bit more, I just want to make sure that the egg is cooked. It's really hard to tell if it is or not. Let's take, put this away. voila we have done it potato leek soup hour and 45 minutes with prep not bad not too shabby let's see if we mix it again a little bit more I want to make sure this is really well mixed uh, it will separate once you put it in the fridge it does separate a little bit it's fine you need to think it's got butter cream and broth in there it's gonna separate a bit and then the you know the potatoes are blended so the heavier stuff, especially the potatoes, are gonna are gonna settle in the bottom. So when you reheat it, you just uh, take it out of the fridge and just put it in your saucepan, mix it up, reheat it, medium heat, and you're good to go. <clears throat> All right. Now, Betty Crocker the Great. <laughs> I was thinking of doing a cooking stream, but it'd be a smoked biscuit and pulled pork. Oh, that sounds so good, dude. Problem is, when I cook, I get shit faced drunk. It'd be fucking hilarious if the cam fell in the soup. No, it's it's uh, it's on a tripod. It's good. Oh, soup cam. If you made it really creamy and thick, you could add cubed chicken, carrots, and green beans, and put it in a pie crust. Throw it in the oven. Oh yeah, dude. There's so much you could do. This is like you don't have to eat it just like this. I mean, you, like I, I could make clam chowder out of this and put more potatoes in it and add some freaking um, uh, clam to it. Um, I mean, you could just you could add anything you want. I just like to have it li like pretty much just like this. Do the same with leftover smoked beef and chicken. Make awesome pies. Gilded wants a cream pie. <laughs> You creep by bitch. You play chess on the kitchen floor? I know, dude. This is the ugliest kitchen floor ever. 
They play Twister. Hey, bra mama. Hi, cooking with Adam. Hell yeah, dude. Smoked biscuit. Mmm. Smoked biscuit. <laughs> All right. Time to serve. Cover it so we don't lose too much water out of it. I also want to make sure it cools. Put this back there. And then, let's see, I don't have a whole lot of Parmesan. I have some regular Parmesan. I was hoping I had, I had shredded Parmesan, but we'll use this. It's fine. Garnish it with a little bit of that. You can always garnish it with bacon too. I just don't have any. <sighs> that floor is so 80s. Dude, this house was built in 1918. It's literally 100 years old. It's a big old bowl of semen. <laughs> you think Adam had a speech impediment? Why? Hey, King Manny. Hello, the stream. So, dude, I watch your streams all the time. The reason I started playing PUBG last year on the Xbox? Keep up the awesome work, dude. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Is that Lumi's cream? Wow. Where's the cornbread? Holy shit, TXPK, the $20? I hear all chefs like a drink while they cook. <laughs> dude, thank you so much. Guys, hashtag TXPK, the chef with a $20 donation. I hear all you just chefs literally like a drink while they cook. for the majority of this meal that I just cooked. Thank you, man. Actually, with the donations, you guys just paid this off. This literally cost $25 for all the supplies. Actually, some of it I didn't even buy today. So I, it would have been about, you guys gave me $30 so far in donations on this stream. And that's a pretty much how, it co how much it costs to make this whole thing. But you could, this will literally last me all week. I'm going to be eating this for the next four or five days. Um, and uh, obviously, I will definitely archive this stream too. And um, you guys will be able to watch it back if you want to use my recipe. And if you guys do use my recipe, let me know, like in the Discord or on the stream chat or on the comment once this is archived. Uh, let me know if you end up making this. Uh, I would love to know what you guys think of my recipe, if you like my recipe, if you like it or not. Rip my spelling. Oh, it says message retracted, so you deleted it. You're welcome, my dude. I love you, Adam. I love you too, TXBK. I'll go get the bottle here in a second. It's in my room. I cook the same way, man. Cook for shit to last. Hell yeah, dude. Oh yeah, blend me, daddy. <laughs> All right, let me. I'll be right back. We'll take that shot and we'll have a bite of this. Right. Nothing is, uh, no potato leek soup is, uh, complete until you have a shot of your Kraken 94 proof. Ah! Woohoo! Mmm. We're the win. We're the motherfucking win. The guy is insane at the game, right? Those builds are legit for mouse keyword. We have gone from the infamous chair stream to the infamous stove stream. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Let's try this out and see how it came out this time. 
So, last time I made this, um, everything was pretty much the same except for I used two potatoes, not three. Um, I used three leeks this time, last time I used two, but the leeks I used last time were much larger than the ones I got. So it's about the same amount of leeks. Um, and I used two habanero peppers instead of one habanero pepper. Uh, and that's pretty much the only thing that I changed with it this time. So let's give it a try, see how it came out. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's far heartier because of the extra potato. It's much thicker. And with the Parmesan cheese, mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. With the fucking rum and this warmness of this soup going down, oh. Oh, it's so good. So what do you guys think? Of course, we're gonna be uh, going from the cooking with Adam stream to an eating with Adam stream. It's just so good. I just I just can't stop eating it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just so good. Adam the cook. <laughs> Come play some Fortnite. <laughs> Yeah, shots. <laughs> Adam, I wish I could stay. Got to sleep. Love you guys. I love you too. Dude, thank you so much again for the $20 donation. You know you don't have to do that, and I really appreciate it, bro. Thank you, man. Adam playing Cooking Simulator. Yeah, this is the game we're playing. We're playing Cooking Simulator 2K18. Coming up next week, watch Adam furiously fap. <laughs> oh... Looks like you're eating semen, that's what I think. Wow. Hey Megan, how are you doing? The fuck like Adam has legs? I do have legs, look at it. I have legs. Short ones, yeah, I'm pretty short. As you guys saw, when I was like standing over here, you know, so I'm here, and then Jared's like up here. He's 6'1", and I'm 5'3", or 5'4". Mm. Also, I no, I used to hold stack of the green onions. Like I think last time when I made this too. Mm. And it's not even spicy with the two habanero peppers in this. Uh, it really just it just gave it a flavor kick. That's perfect. But man, this will kick any cold flu. Mmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Adam lives in a diner, confirm. A 50s diner. Checkered floors would be lit. They were LEDs. <laughs> What's with the random surge protector on the floor? Oh, I brought this in here so I could hook everything up to my laptop. But I didn't use as many electric cords as I was thinking. Multiple vibrator attachments. Is that like surge protector to Queen 9? Wow. So, anyways guys, soup's done. <laughs> that was a successful cook and stream. Soup is done. I'm gonna let that cool for a bit while I stream tonight. Um, I gotta pack everything up, eat my food. Uh, I'm guessing definitely not gonna be on by six by the amount of time it's gonna take me to eat and pack everything up and then hook it all back up again in my room. So probably around seven ish, ish. Don't call me on that ish. Binging with Adam. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna play a PUBG Moosh. You know it, baby. Hot drop, boot camp all night long. That's how we're gonna do it, dude. That's how we're gonna, bro. That's, yeah. Hell no on Black Ops 4. Fuck that game. I'll play it again, but I don't know. It's not really my style. Mm. 
Guys, I'm serious though. Please try my soup. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah. Watch the live stream back if you want the recipe. Try this out. Let me know what you think. Um, I would love to hear if any of you guys end up making this and, uh, you know, if you guys like it or not. So, yeah. I want to spot in. Of course, man. I'll play a Fortnite until then. All right. All right, Gilded. Sounds good. Get the OG squad together. Hell yeah. All right. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe and come to a review. Leave a huge thumbs up. Bam. 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 <laughs> huge thumbs up on the live stream if you like this. And uh, post the recipe in Discord. All right. All right. I will. I'll uh, I'll type it up and I'll uh, I'll put it in the Discord in the recipe section on the Discord. Uh, but anyways, guys. Yeah. This was a really cool stream. It was a bitch to set everything up here in the kitchen, but... I think it was worth it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really did. I thought this was really cool. This is something I really wanted to share with you guys. Cooking is, uh, well, it's something I'm pretty good at. I was trained by a chef. You know, I, I think I've talked about this before in other streams. Uh, I used to work at a, uh, a high class uh, restaurant called Jumoy Lodge uh, in Beckett, Massachusetts. Um, and I uh, worked under a chef as a cook there. And he taught me a lot of stuff about cooking. Uh, I also learned from my parents, of course, about cooking. My dad was a good cook. My dad actually went to school uh, and majored in culinary arts, uh, so he taught me a lot of stuff. My mom was never the best cook ever, but she was decent, but I learned some stuff from her too. My grandmother was an amazing cook. Well, both my grandmothers were amazing cooks. Uh, although I was very young, I still picked up something, I think, from that. So cooking is actually the, like a real passion of mine when I'm not lazy and I actually want to put the time in to make, make something. So... Uh, I would love to do something like this again if you guys really like it. So smash the like button if you do want to see something like this again. Anyways, guys, we'll see you guys in a little bit for some PUBG action. Uh, like I said, give me about an hour and a half or so so I can eat my food. i got to set everything back up again and take everything out of the kitchen. And uh, we'll get going on PUBG tonight. So, yeah, see you guys later. Bye!